Hello everybody, welcome back to the Garage in Spain, my name's Gary. Today's video is going to be a time lapse of me laying the roadway across the hillside. And for those of you who have, haven't perhaps seen the video of me doing the preparation, then I'll leave a link up here. And perhaps you'd like to look at that before coming on to this one. So without much further ado, let's crack on. Welcome back after that disastrous filming uh, activity. Uh, I obviously don't know the difference between my slow motion and my time lapse. So, uh, as you've seen, the road is down, it's completed. I'm very pleased. It's uh, looking good and it's still drying out for another day or so. But in the meantime, there's a little bit of detail I want to add onto the side here. Uh, and I'm going to show you now the process I use and what I'm using uh, just to build up this little bit of embankment before I then put some more plaster on just to finish this off. So the idea is to uh, build up a little bit more of the embankment down here. And for that, I'm going to be using these uh, dental sticks, which uh, are quite nicely shaped, as you can see, quite thin. Once I've punched a hole into here, the idea is that I sit them in like this to steady cotton wool which I shall use down the edge here in a tube fashion held on with a bit of ordinary masking tape and we'll see how we get on and basically there won't be it won't be even but uh, the idea is that we put a few of these in here at intervals like so and uh, they don't need to be stuck in because obviously the Plaster of Paris will eventually hold them in. And I'm just going to go up there, leaving enough room to keep a ditch between the road and whatever embankment I get up. He says. It's going to come up to about here. As you can see, it's still a bit soft, but uh, as I say, there's another layer going on of Plaster of Paris, so it should look okay. I don't want to be too high up there, but just something for that to hold on to. And then just down to the bottom here. And so these are just going to act as struts. Underneath here, as you can probably tell, is some newspaper that doesn't want to play ball. There we go. It's better. And then come down here. they're in place. On the final one down here. And with a bit of forcing through, I might just have to cut the end of that one off. Just to get that one to stick in nicely. Right, is that gonna... Yes it is. There we go. OK. 
think that's fairly, fairly down. That's just something for the cotton wool to anchor onto. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. And then the idea is to tease out some cotton wool and that will basically sit over here in this sort of fashion. Just to give her a little bit of size to that. Doesn't matter if it comes there because the plaster of Paris will actually work its magic and hold it together. I'll just tease that out along there. There. A little bit close there because I want to keep that ditch if I can. And there. A little bit more down the edge there. So that's the general idea. That's just giving it a bit of bulking without being too high. And then using the masking tape. Again, I'm not going to be too exact, but let's just start it off there. I'm just going to hold that in position. Let's run that down that sort of fashion like that. in the contour across there. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better by the time I get the plaster of Paris on there. Okay. So that should give me a little bit more height above. That might just be a bit packing in there. Just to keep that up. So I say the plaster of Paris will bring that down a bit. So just layer that in there and we'll see how we get on. Okay, let's get some plaster of Paris and uh, we can crack on with that. Okay, so I have cut some small pieces of uh, ordinary plaster of Paris bandage and uh, the idea is now that we lay these on, fold them into the rest of the scenics and see how we go. So it's just a quick dip into there, shake off some of the surplus and I want to make sure that I go over into the ditch that I created earlier and then it's just a case of sculpting that into the design I want within that ditch try not to be too soft just making sure that's pushed out that's sticking in there quite nicely and you just mould it a little bit with your fingers Too much water on there. Overlap, I'll make sure we get enough of the ditch. There we go. That's better. Too once it's gone a, once it's gone a little bit uh, harder, started to set, it's easier to contour, but initially I'm just trying to spread the plaster across from where the holes are. 
like that. And you can see probably in the close up in a minute, you just get some nice pieces in there. This would have been, I guess, cut by the engineers when they were doing the actual uh, initial cutting through of the hillside. So it does look slightly machined, but not, uh, not on the far side, obviously I want that to keep fairly uh, jagged and uh, just keep that off the road there as much as possible. There we go. This side, as I say, can be a little bit more uh, machined and soft, but this side I want to keep it again. I can add some more afterwards. That's not a problem. Just trying to smooth that, and you can see now it becomes a little bit more solid. I must stop saying more solid. <laughs> right, there we go. So let's I say once you get used to it and just you can see probably now in this shot how the, the plaster spreads through the bandage. And it's just a case of Starting that like that. It dries reasonably quickly, so uh, you don't want to be hanging about too much. Those pins, uh, the, rather than the plastic pegs we put in earlier, just stop this falling down too much. I say I don't want it too rigid, but again, I don't want it flopping down and falling onto the, uh, the blanket before we finished. Okay, so I think you can see the general idea of, of how I kept that more smooth in there, but this side can be quite regular. I'm going to go over in a few minutes, probably with another couple of pieces of plaster per section. And then uh, once I've done that, we'll come back and, and that review what we've done. Okay, so that's the completed uh, repair work along the top of that uh, side of the road. As you can see, it matches in quite well. And obviously it's drying as quickly uh, as usual. 
In fact, that's gone quite hard now, so you wouldn't be able to do too much with the moving of the plaster. But it's now given me a nice lip to the edge, which I was after. And I'm pretty pleased with that. Okay, thanks very much indeed for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, perhaps you'd like to subscribe and leave any comments downstairs in the comment section. Any answers that you need, I'll try and respond as soon as possible. Thanks very much. See you soon.